What's up guys, it is uh, Oddly Otto here again with a, another video. Today we're doing a game called Hacknet, which if you've been uh, paying any attention to my other videos, you would know this is a game that I've been trying to play for a while. Um, I will be honest, I have played a little bit of this already, just have uh, tested it out to see what it's like. Um, but what I'm going to do now is just a, maybe like a 20 minute video, start the game right from the beginning, um, go through all the stages I can, in as quick as I can, um, I didn't mention this, let me mention in the beginning, I do try and plan to try and get all of the achievements in this game that are possible, so every once in a while I'll jump in and out to check what those achievements are, um, but yeah, that's what we're going to try and do in, in these videos. I don't think this is going to be a very long game, so this will be a pretty quick series, uh, so I'm just going to go right ahead there, this is very much a keyboard based game. We do a lot of typing, so I'm just going to start there by creating an account. And this is what it looks like. I'll be honest with you, text like that running across the screen, the first time I ever saw something like that was, you know, on the old style computers, and when I started doing a bit of my own personal hacking stuff. And, um, yeah, there's something about this that is warm and cozy to me, I think. Maybe... Maybe this is me just being weird, but I like it. Okay, so the game starts off with this message. 14 day timer expired, initializing a fail safe. Hi, this is strange. Stranger than I expected. I guess I'm supposed to write this in past tense, though I hardly feel like admitting it's over. My name is Bit, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. Okay, so this is what the game looks like for the most part. You got this like bedroom thing going on in the background, You're booting up into a terminal here on the right hand side. Okay, so we're going to do the, the tutorial. So I do know most of these commands and a lot of the stuff kind of is very similar, which we'll see if you know anything about Linux operating systems, which we'll get there. We'll just run through it as quickly as, as we can. Okay, so this thing wants us to connect to the network. It's easy. Um, this will reveal more computers, so this is doing a scan, okay? So you can use the mouse, so they're training you on now. And now they're saying that if you want to disconnect, you can. Okay, cool. So you use your own wrist to connect to an outside machine, okay? Okay. The computer system and open ports can be analyzed by using probe. Okay, so this is where the typing starts. So you can use that or this to do it. Okay. So this wants us to do port hack, which is a command over there on the screen. Um, obviously then trying to change some terminals, but let's see what we can do. Progress bar. Done. Okay. So we scanned it. Now we get a whole bunch of options. Let's see what those options are. Nope, we need to do something else. Take control of the external system and now at the administrator you can do whatever you like. However, you should start by scanning other areas. Okay, so no results, not a problem. Next time investigate the file system. This is the files in a directory. Okay, so that's gonna be there we go. Navigate to the bin folder. Find areas folder to search for useful executables using CD. Okay, so that's CD and then um, slash bin to be the contents of a file. You're going to look at it. So to look at, you're going to say cat, which is the standard, from what I remember. You should look in case. Okay, so I assume we could probably actually just click on it as well. Let's see. We'll go up a level now. Config, yada 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 yada. Behaviors, yada 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 yada. Resolution, full screen, cool story, bro. Totally useless. Fantastic. Move up a folder in the directory. Okay, so that's going to be CD up up. Um, so you can use wildcards, or you can go back or up. Okay, so. There. That's pretty much basic Linux slash Ubuntu style command line. So now we're going to go into folder name. 
move to the log folder. Okay, so I'm just going to do the clicking thing just to see how that works. Okay, now that one just deletes all this information. So that's rm star. So rm is always a remove con command on the server systems, on Linux based systems. Star is a wildcard, so anything basically. And there we go. Gone. Well, it's easy. Okay. After you've done that, you should do a DC. So, DC disconnects. Completed the guided section of the tutorial. To finish it, you must locate the process ID tutorial and kill it. Okay, so processes are normally done by PS. Nice. And then, um, how do you kill it? PS kill tutorial. Uh, PID PS kill. Okay, no. Let's try kill PS3. Uh, hold on. Let me just check this hint because I'm fairly certain my syntax is just wrong. Currently running things. Okay. So, how do I kill the process? How do we kill? Kill. PID 3 Invalid PID or input Maybe just Oopsie, pushing your buttons there Kill 3 Okay, easy Okay, so this is the way of getting all of the um, I don't know if you can see that my face might be over it But there's an envelope there on the right click on and that's basically where you get all your missions from. Hi, I don't know you and I'm sad to say that I never will, but if you're reading this, it means that you might be the only person that can make things right. Right now I'm trapped and there's no way out and not enough time and I need your help, but there is something you need to take care of first. The faster the better. Hacknet OS, so I assume that's this whole program that you're running with, uh, wasn't meant to release as it is now. After a while, an automated tracker will activate itself. We can't let this happen. Connect to your own node, your PC, it should be the green one on the map, and delete security tracer. When you're done, just reply to this email. Okay, so we're coming here into file systems, uh, bin rm security. Gone. Cool. Then we're going to go back to the envelope. We're going to reply. Stop anything, cool. Send a blank message, suppose that works. Get a response. Great, that should keep you safe for now, at least from your own computer. Before we start, you're going to need a few things. Port hack alone just isn't going to cut it. If the most modern computers you'll find, not ones anything worth looking at anyway, okay? You should start by checking up on a friend of mine. He goes by Viper. Awful nickname. I know, he's honestly. Not the brightest crayon in the box, <laughs> but he always seems to get all of the useful code. You should have no trouble getting into his files. Finding something useful might be a bit more of a challenge. You can go for the most part, ignore the generic files, stuff that gets logged or saved by program, IRC logs, yada yada yada. So we're looking for custom things like exe. So okay, so that's my first problem with this game, but I'll explain in a second. Files are what you want to look for. Download any files using SCP and reply again when you're done okay so this is the link to that guy's pc how's it uh, and quick reference sheet okay so i'm going to close that because we don't really need can we just come back for that later if we want to i assume it's going to be somewhere in this list okay so my first problem with this is that if i'm running linux command probes the whole time why why am I running EXEs at the same time? It's a Linux based operating system or it's a Windows based operating system? You don't really get two of the same. Okay, so we've probed the system, we're seeing um, open ports, but there's nothing we really need to do because I'm fairly certain that we just do a port hack on this guy's PC. Yeah, there we go, it's running. Nice, okay, cool. So now we can go and look at his file systems 
Okay. YouTubers. YouTubers to check out. Okay. I don't know if those are real. Guys, feel free to have a quick squiz if you want to look at those. All text files. Log file. Bin. Okay, so there's an exe, so we'll just grab that thing. Um, for those of you wondering why I'm not typing everything out, if you push tab it auto completes, that's actually true on actual normal Windows and Ubuntu systems. If you start typing half a command, you can tab, you can cycle through what they are. Okay, cool. So we've just downloaded that file. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to go into C log. Put the slash in, sorry. And drop the fact that we've been here at all. And we're going to DC from that guy's PC. Go back to the emails. And just hit reply. Send this guy a blank message. Get a nice one back. Congrats. You have no way of knowing if you exceeded in this responding. Okay, well, yeah. But if you're seeing this, it means that you at least found something. I'm going to assume it's something really useful. You should try breaking one of my old test servers. It's Viper. That's the name of the server, but that sort of thing he's known for is getting lying around. You should have everything you need to get then. Remember, any non basic programs you get need a port number to run, like this SSH crack uh, and the port number port 22 on SSH. Yeah. Okay, I'll name port number. Just find a port you want to crack and run it on that. Oh, and in case you don't know already, you can hit tab to autocomplete, like I was saying. Uh, SSH and then it should autocomplete everything else. Great, okay. So the security basics, I'm just going to add that in. That's obviously some sort of hybrid works. Got it. Um, let's go to this guy's test server. Okay. Let's probe the system. Open port required, so we have to open a port. I assume that's why we're going to run SH crack. Going to run port 22. Okay, it's running the code there. Now we just wait. Okay, cool. So now we've popped an exploit in, so we're able to open things up. We can say port hack. I assume if you do a port hack and there isn't an open port like that, then it's just going to fail. We'll try that on the next next server that we find. Okay, cool. So now I've found stuff. Now what? Uh, view the file system. What you got for me, son? Auto log reports, test files, system files, terminal text. Okay. Cat ls. This is all the information for how to open stuff. Anything in bin file? Nothing. Fantastic. Logs. That's that. Big server bin. Okay, so I think he just wants me to try and um, just drop all these logs out again. Leave no trace. I'm gonna just reply to that guy's email. Let's see if maybe we've missed something, but I think we did. Hey, nice work. Here's it's going to start getting harder. I need to ask you a favor. A little sloppy lately, which is what got me into this whole mess. That's why I'm writing this in the first place, I guess. Anyway, this point is that some logs on a few computers that I'd prefer weren't there. Rookie mistake, buddy. You should remember this. If you forget everything else, I'll tell you, don't get sloppy. Delete your log files. If you haven't been, start now. Everything you do on a modern OS is tracked and logged in the log folder. Just get in there and RM star the whole thing. Never forget to. Cool. Notes request details. Use probe to see what ports are open, targets, yada 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 yada. Delete all the files in the target computer in the log folder. This command arm deletes everything. Okay, so he wants me to get to that box and he wants me to break it. Okay. So probe systems. Okay, now I know we should do an SSH crack because that's what we've been taught, but I want to do a port act just to see what it does. Okay, have to open up the ports. SSH 22. P 
Anderson's bedroom PC. Why would he have been on this? Should we do a bit of snooping quick? Okay, let's port hack into it quickly. Okay, we're the admin, so that means we've got login information. Admin passes Daniel. Okay. Obviously get that with a crack in. Hack in. Um, scan the network, anything interesting? Nope. Cool. So we can view the logs, we can view the file systems. What do we have? Personal stuff. Um, letter draft. I'm not reading all of this out loud. Try the hardest hook be accommodating. Yeah, yeah. Please know that if you ever made a decision, likely there's something you have to do. If you guys want to read this, you can pause the video. Don't accept me for who I really am. Okay. Laptop police reports. Police number, report stuff, chat logs. Um, are you guys are you extreme? That depends. Are you ready to die? Lol, shut up. Okay, it's people talking nonsense. Tax returns. Okay. So in binary. There, what about in the work directory? Report, mail trial. Nothing conclusive, but leads. Laptop was stolen. Contained information, copied. Yeah, what's what? Okay, cool. So obviously this bit guys logged into this XPC and deleted stuff. That's what that's saying. I copied the most likely one over here and was sure I had submit the details. So the laptop got stolen and the book got deleted. So obviously bit was fiddling around or something. Anything in this XPC? No, those are just standard files. Let's do what we need to. This is our IP address because we've just done all of that. X, 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 okay. So that must be the other guy's box. Drop everything out. Disconnect. Close these. So we need this open. And why is this thing flashing? We've done that. Okay. Reply. Send. More. Where to from here? All right. If you see this, then you've done well. And well, all this might actually be worth something. It's too much to hope for. It seems like a lot to hope for. I realize that I just don't have the time to write the whole thing. There's something too much to learn and I don't have time to do any of it. So I'm going to need you to ask something more. There's a group by the name Entropy and that's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach you more when you're ready and I'll contact you again. As for getting into Entropy, you'll need to bypass a proxy server, a few shells, open using the command shell, running on computers. You've already gotten admin access on so you'll be able to overload it. Okay. Uh, PS almost forgot if you run into trouble I've linked to network education archive server. Cool. So we'll just drop that into links there. There's the entropy test server that we're telling us to hack and proxy server is saying classic entropy challenge run shells on computers yeah you had to connect to a target computer probe for security using the shells to overload the proxy. Okay, fair enough. Let's see what we can do here. So we're going to go to test server. Hello test server. Let me say probe. Okay, so it says proxy detected. So what he's saying when you want to run a shell is so you're basically going to come here and say shell. Cool, overload. And then open up another PC like that. No, 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 it's not use. Well, yes, we can use that. Shell. Load another one in. And Viper. Random dudes PC. So now we've got three PCs. Basically, we're creating like a botnet. So we're going to take all these PCs and point them to the same one at the same time. I don't think we should more than three, eh? Let's see what happens. Yeah. 
let's see what happens. Um, this is H22. Cannot execute proxy active. Okay, hold on, I must be missing something here. Jump straight to that email. Proxy server info said. A few notes from shell admin with the shell connect to the target computer and probe with security. Okay, so am I doing something wrong now? Overload. 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 Okay. Ah, okay, so there we, we eventually got it right. Cool. So I don't know why. Maybe we had to click on overload and all those things. I thought it should just do it automatically. This is basically where I got to my first playthrough. Let's first try to test it out. Okay, no, no, no. Can't do a port hack. Need to SSH 22. Or green? Yeah, okay, now we can do a port hack. all this stuff. We don't need any of this open. And congratulations, download this file to complete your education tests. SCP to entropy. Pull down to my own server. Session saved. Nice. Cool. Okay, we got a message. So they obviously are watching. I'm going to drop that. Double check bin. Text files. No one ever remembers to clear the bin folder to this test server. Scrubs is designed for people to break in. Please tidy up. Scrubs basically being noobs. If you're looking, can you please come out looking for you? Okay. Uh, hack the planet. You fools bow down. Okay, so this is all just obviously it's a test server, so people are just dropping files here. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna just redo all the logs because we've just been checking things out. Then we're gonna drop down here, confirmation message. Greetings, Odliata. Let me be the first to congratulate you on locating and passing the entropy group entrance exam. While it's an experienced hacker, it's a relatively trivial task. Surprisingly, few actually seem to manage it. Flattery will get you everywhere, guys. Before we'll be able to allow you to officially join the group, you must further confirm your abilities. Tabloid News Server has recently taken negative stance towards entropy and would like to temporarily disable their operation. As a second test of your skill, we'll ask you to bring down the server's message board. If you can leave the non-entropy related articles on the rest of the server intact, we don't wish to be needly this destructive. This is not a request to simply wipe the server clean of articles. We want you to just pro brought it down, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna probably, this is gonna be the last one I'm gonna do, guys, because around about 20 minutes already and then yeah, I'll cut this video here and we'll pick it up maybe on a live stream if you guys are keen or in another session depending on depending on what we can and cannot do okay so we're joining the server we've got stuff suspicions of entropy so there's one article that wants to delete that suspicions of a thing okay but obviously Proxy detects it. Okay, so now we're gonna go shell. Can I shell using the test server? That would be ironic. Okay, okay. Overload, overload, overload. And then say pro. There we go. Drop these guys out again. And then we're gonna 
SSH yet again. Cool, we're gonna go LS space A, which is basically the same way as saying, show me insufficient privileges to perform this operation. Aha, uh -huh. because we have import actor date. Portac. There's no real command called Portac, guys. So if it was that easy, I think we'd all be in a lot of trouble. LSA shows me the entire list of things. Here's the message board. Listings, entropy. So we're going to say RM instead of star. We're going to say entropy. Drop it. Then we're going to say RM. RM and suspicious. Uh, let's just skim this quickly. Popular social network, friend holes, latest victim of malicious hacking groups. So that's obviously something else we need to drop. Uh, hardcore fans get fares in order to prepare for wallets and new patent folders, blah blah blah. This is obviously less. <laughs> new Microsoft phone. About as bad as you can expect. Again, throwing random shade there, so it's your data at risk. Drop. Cool. <laughs> Config. What did I. Uh, delete or name, name its critical file system. So, yes, yeah. I know. I know that part. So if you do this, RM, um, and you delete the config file for the message in the message board section, config.sys, bah, then the message board won't work anymore because now there's no config file to tell it how to work. That makes perfect sense, people, perfect sense anything in this list these are all me so we're going to delete everything they can't come back on us i've been throwing commands around you guys if you have no idea what's going on or you want me to explain something please leave me a message in the comments and i will uh, will endeavor to try and explain to you what's going on okay so i was right deleting the config file crashes their message board so then if we come back here can we reply to these guys send them another blank session saved great cool so we are now part of entropy it's pretty much where we were the last time um, and I will end the video there but like I said I'm trying to do all the achievements so I just want to see I have checked it out already um, once like there I said we've already gone to the point before Complete the tutorial earlier than normal. Okay, so that's the first one I'm gonna try and do. Let me just disconnect from this dude. Connect back to my own PC. Uh, check my file system. Why can I probe my own file system? That makes no sense. Okay, uh, view file system home. Logs, NAS, NAS. Okay, so we're going to run a standard, this I know it does work, running this will get me into the tutorial. So now, the first achievement we need to do is this, and that should give us an achievement, did it give us an achievement? Yes, it did. I don't know if you guys can see that overlay, but there, quick draw, complete the tutorial before the normal time. Cool. Okay, guys, let me just uh, save this game like a proper person. And I'm going to exit to the main menu. Um, and that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Like I said, it's a bit of an interesting game. The command line is quite fun to play around with. I did go through those quickly. So if you do have questions, you don't know what I was doing in those 
uh, command lines pop me a message leave me a comment i will try and answer some of that stuff obviously some of it is realistic some of it isn't um but yeah let's chat about it let me know how you find this game if it's something that interests you if you maybe want to join me on a live stream and we'll try and solve some of the the game obviously it gets more complicated i assume later on uh, so if you want to join me on a live stream and we try to figure those out at an, in another session on another thursday we can do that otherwise yeah i'll just keep uploading bit by bit in 20 minutes 20 odd minutes chunks like this so yeah thanks for watching leave a like leave a comment sharing is caring and i will see you guys in another video Good